Ladies and gentlemen, Ladies and gentlemen David Soul! Boy, that was an intro, I must say. <laughs> well, you know, you've got to, you know, got to build up my guess. Got a future, I think. Do you think so? Yeah, I think it's. Yeah, you need, you need a wall, so you know. I mean. Yeah, exactly. I mean, what you didn't, you didn't attempt the door, is that? No, just, no, I was no a stunt work. Nervous about that, so I just walked around. <laughs> Were you actually nervous? There always yeah. is when I walk into the White Hall. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I this is the home of the dead monkey. This is the home of your play, the dead monkey. We we shared the and corridors, dead dog. <laughs> the corridors of power. Dead dead dogs, dead monkeys. Are, are you teamed up again? Yeah. Is it relating to well, dead yeah. monkey? I mean, it's yeah, years. After of... 20, um, 20 something years. So we, yeah, yeah. And what, so what are you doing? How come you're together again? Well, I, I think I think somehow um, one of uh, somebody he found a place for me. He said, yeah. you know what? Okay. Um, we're moving the play, and um, we, we're doing it in Brixton at the Fridge, and... Because um, that's generally a club, isn't it, the Brixton yeah, Fridge? Yeah, that's the whole idea, actually. Okay, so... So, um, so I, I, you know, I saw David over here, and I was over here doing some things, and um, he gave me this notion about the play and sent me the play in uh, Los Angeles, and I, I read it, and... Um, and I said, when, when do I show up? <laughs> so the play is on in the fridge, and then does it turn into a club afterwards? Are you, are you... Well, what we're doing is, uh, what exactly, it's, is a, it's an event that we're, we're calling um, Alive in the Fridge. Okay. All right? And the dead monkey is alive in the fridge. Right. But part of the evening after the play, we're also doing a concert in which right. Antonio and yeah. Alexa Hamilton, my partner, yeah. who's also in the play, and myself, yeah. in a band called Religion, right. um, are doing. So it's a play at a concert, then there's some dance and whatever, there's a fashion show, an art exhibit, and then after... It sounds like a happening. It sounds like a 60s... It's a 60s kind yeah. of fan. Yeah. You weren't yeah. from that background then, Donnie, were you? So well, I'm, I'm old enough to be from that background. I'm asking Antonio a lot of questions. It's just because you've been on the show before. I've been on... David, I, so I know I, everything I need to know about you. Don't you don't mind if I go sleep. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Put your feet up while I just find it. What is your background? Were you a 60s kid? Yeah, I'm a 60s kid. You know, I sort of... I started in this business when I was 14 years old mm. in New York and um, made it through 60s, well, it was mid-60s, yeah. uh, so I did that in the 70s, 80s, and here I am in the 90s, you know. Still we, doing we, it. We're still doing it, and <laughs> with David again, and it's been, uh, it's been a, an interesting ride. What was it, the thing that I found strange about uh, the old days in, in, in Starsky and Hutch was, that, was the fact that you always went to ask Huggy Bear, but when there was about five minutes left, you couldn't solve the case. You'd go and ask him, and he'd go, well, it's those guys down there. Why didn't you that ask was him a the cheap... start of the episode? It's so obvious. Right. That was a cheap yeah. device. You have two yeah. great cops who had to rely on this weird kind of guy to let them know what, what the deal yeah. was, but, you know, but it's, it's, it's form formatic television that we tried to bring some kind of reality yeah. to. And, uh, I mean, you got the writers yeah. sitting here, you can see, how are we going to get that, how are we going to get that in the third act? Well, was it, well, ask Huggy. Well, ask old Huggy. <laughs> you know, <laughs> let's go to Huggy's place, or let's There's meet Huggy minutes, on the corner. Yeah, three right. minutes left. <laughs> but, but what, what is true, through. though, is what we, what, what we hope to create out of that is that, I think people, you know, the, the word on the street became yeah. synonymous with Huggy Bear. Right. right. So the word on the street is a very powerful thing. Uh -huh. And the word on the street was a, was close to this side of the law, you know. And we had the other ear was Dobie in the office, yeah, of and that was the law. Yeah. So between the two, we yes. covered, you know, we covered it. That's a fantastic answer to yeah. to, to really what the answer. It was really stupid. The, the, the writers right. were just <laughs> <laughs> drive talk. Did you did you actually do any drive talk yourself? Uh, and well, you know, I mean. Coming from New York and yeah. having seen and seen the hip, slick, and cool guys and, and all of that, and because I'm a character actor, all the provocative people were always the people who walked the same line as, as Huggy Bear, as, as far as I'm concerned. Right. And uh, so, yeah. I mean, Is there something you can, can I give you something in English and you'd be able to translate it into uh, roughly kind of a, uh, Something like, uh, would you be so good as to lend me your cricket pads? I seem to have, I seem to have left mine in the vicarage. Um, how, would, how would you deal with that kind of... Um, hey baby, would you let me cop your fly wicked cricket pads? <laughs> um, I, I seem to have cut loose of mine at, in the, um, in the holy side house. <laughs> that was enough. 
That's with no rehearsal. That's with no rehearsal. No, that was actually a that was cool, wasn't it? Yeah. 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 yeah, absolutely no script. What did you call it though? A holy Sorry? side house. Side house. Wow, I didn't it's know that ne you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, Vicarage cool. next to the church. Of course, Vicarage, the holy side house. Cool. <laughs> David, you're writing an autobiography, I understand. Are uh, you obviously here and now you you say very nice things about Antonio, but oh. are you gonna dish some dirt on him in the in the biography? Why oh not? yeah, of course I will. <laughs> of course. That <laughs> no, wouldn't be a good book without it. <laughs> no, exactly. Why? Well, no, I mean, it's gotta have dirt. Exactly. No, no, it's a little <laughs> a little pretend I I have I've finally somebody has twisted my arm enough oh. to to do something like that. But it's taken a taken a long time. It's taking a long time. So you're in the middle of it, are you? Are you well, I'm. I'm in the. I'm. I'm doing it. Basically, what you're saying is you haven't written and it. No, I haven't really started yet. That's I'm what you come on. I'm going to do it before I forget. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and memory is the second thing to go. Is what you will know. Uh, really? Yeah. What was the question? Well, you see, I, what's the first thing to go, David? I, I'm not going. I don't want to know. Now, I'm very excited about your dog coming on. This, this Jen, yeah. well, you know, your dog is lovely. My dog, very quiet, is, isn't he? Right? Very well trained. You know, the well, only thing you didn't ask him to do was freeze. <laughs> Look at that. You see? Look at that. He instantly picked up like on that. it. Like that. It's been two years I've been doing this job, yeah. and I've never had an animal. I know in America, an Letterman has an animal on every night. Yeah. But I've never had it. Can I, You've had can a few I, dogs, though. Had a few dogs, of course. <laughs> can we welcome on? Oh, absolutely. Okay. Um, ladies and gentlemen. Will he just come on, actually? He'll, he'll wander out. Yeah. Oh, cool. Call okay. him. Let's see what happens. Call him. Uh, please welcome Checky. <laughs> Checky. Hey, puppy. Hey. Puppy. Puppy. Have you there? <laughs> oh, look at this. Oh, what? <laughs> Check. 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 <laughs> He loves those women. Come on, puppy. <laughs> Come here, puppy. Yeah. Check. Checky. Okay. <laughs> okay, there we go. That's better, huh? That's... <laughs> This is uh, there this was is a fantastic checking. moment. My very first guest to instantly sniff someone's arse. <laughs> <That's>, uh, <laughs> that doesn't happen very often. Yeah, well, he's at home in the White Hall, you know. Uh, we, uh, did, we, we did we did that monkey, monkey here, for, here for ages, so, yeah, he, knows, so he, he knows, knows this place. place. He wants this dog. Checky, Checky, come here. Um, tell me, are, is it true that you're a member of the Groucho Club? <laughs> is he? Is he a member? Yes, he is. I've heard this. Absolutely, and a member of uh, he's a card carrying member at Ronnie Scott's. He's also a member of Ronnie Scott's. <laughs> <laughs> he's very friendly, isn't he? Hey, puppy, find the wallet. Check it. <laughs> find the wallet, Chicky. Let's play Bring it in. The <laughs> well, this is, uh, as you can see, that, that experiment about having a dog on your show. So, a, a, exactly. It didn't work, did it? No, it worked, it worked very well. This is, I'd watch this. this, is, this is, look at that. He's this is great television. All the people. Checky, come here. I want to ask you a couple of questions. Who's going to win Crofts? <laughs> Checky, who's going to win come Crofts? Here. Come here. Come on. Checky, who are you dating at the moment? He's very reluctant to speak. <laughs> Tell us something about yourself. Was it a good budget for dogs? Really? Oh, we snogging? Yeah. Oh, no, I don't like that when that happens. What's dogs that? kissing. You don't? No. Why? You don't, why are why you telling me? You, you can't. He brushed his teeth. He brushed his teeth. You haven't. <laughs> I can blame it. No. Plus, look, look, he would have told me I had a poodle. Let's, right. I, I used to raise those dogs. Right. You know, it's a man's dog. That is a man's dog. Right, and, and I got this. And you go a little kind of. This is the greatest little dog I've ever I mean, he's just. It's a soft side. It's a, it is. It's a pleasure to me. Check. Uh, stay with us, because I understand Check is going to sing for us later. But in the meantime, <laughs> David Sell, Check and Donna Vargas. Okay. We're going to take a break now. In part two, we're going to be talking to top TV chef Anthony Wall Thompson and comedian and writer Dave Gorman. See you, I would think, in a couple of minutes. Goodbye for now.